In section 1.4, we will look at the cross product. All right, so in this section, our goal is to find um, a direction that's perpendicular to two given vectors. So let's say I have this blue and this red vector here. I want a way to find either this direction or this direction algebraically. Okay, notice that this purple now purple vector here is perpendicular to both the red and the blue which means it's also perpendicular to this entire plane that will be super useful in the next chapter all right so let's define the cross product so let's say i'm given two vectors v here and w notice that they're both in r3 the cross product only exists in 3d not in 2d not in 4d only in 3d so the cross product of v and w will be denoted by v cross w the dot product uses a dot the cross product uses a cross and then let's define it if i have v cross w what i'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the first two component of each vector underneath. This is my little trick. Then I'm going to ignore the first and I'm going to draw an X over here. That's going to tell me what my first component of V cross W should be. I'm going to take the downward product. So V2, W3. I'm going to subtract the upward product from it. Now the second component is going to be given by an x1 layer down. So the downward one would be v3 w1 minus the upward which is v1 w3. And then the final um, component will be given by this green x here so it's v1 w2 minus v2 w1 all right so that's the cross product so let's do an example I'm given two vectors, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 5, minus 6. I'm asked to evaluate the cross product. All right, so let me write 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, minus 6. And I'll do exactly what I did in um, the definition here. I'm going to rewrite the first two components of each of these vectors. I'm going to use the same color just so you can see. I'm going to ignore 1 and 3 for now. I'm going to take this downward. So it's 2 times minus 6 minus 4 times 5. And then I'm going to use this x here for the second. So 4 times 3 minus 1 times minus 6. And finally, I'm going to take this one, which is 1 times 5 minus 2 times 3. So these three numbers are going to give me my cross product. And if we compute it, I get minus 12 minus 20. That's minus 32. And then 12 plus 6, that's 18. And 5 minus 6, that's minus 1. That's the cross product. All right, um, it's not clear at this point why this is helpful, but let's do B to C. Um, I want to find the angle between V and V cross W. All right, so I'm going to start by taking the cross product, uh, the dot product. So V dot V cross W, I found both already. Ready. So I have 1, 2, 4 dotted with minus 32, 18, minus 1. So I get minus 32 plus 36 minus 4. I get 0. That means the angle is 90. They're perpendicular. So V is perpendicular to V cross W. Find the angle between W and V cross W. All right, we'll do exactly the same thing. 
W is 3, 5, minus 6, uh, minus 32, 18, 1. And so I get minus 96 plus 90. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it wasn't working. Yes, there's a minus here. Let me. I was missing this minus. All right, minus 6 minus 1, that's plus 6. And so I get 0. The angle is, again, 90. So W is perpendicular to V cross W. At this point, you may have guessed that this 90 degree is not random. The takeaway makes it clear that V cross W is always perpendicular to both V and W. So this picture, one of these vectors is V cross W. All right, so we found a way algebraically to uh, get a vector that's perpendicular to both V and W.